the 17 SI alternator from a 1980 Chevrolet pickup truck is so huge that to get it to fit on the engine stand motor required finding a bracket to extend things out and a longer fan belt. I did manage to get it hooked up and it does charge. I keep a lot of different bolts around. The 17 SI was originally on this engine because the engine came out of a uh, GM or Chevrolet 1980 pickup truck. So the brackets that are in there are spaced so that the smaller CS130 doesn't actually fit the bracket adjustment. I've got a lot of uh, various pieces of steel and bracketry so I'm going to look through the pieces to find something. Well, I did find something that has the exact spacing to fit the CS130 to the bracket that's higher up. It's a engine lift for a chain at one end of a IDI 6.9 or 7.3 diesel engine. Hey, it works and it wasn't needed as the engine it came off is gone. Seems kind of weird, I'm sure, but it actually is the correct spacing and the spacer was exactly right so just have to do the wiring harness now which uh, that should work anyway that's how it is for now there's a spot there that's broken but generally speaking I think I had the wires reversed there so the blue is the one to the uh, the ignition key so that goes to the light bulb which acts as a resistor to start the alternator charging and then that red one is a, a sense wire which goes to the white that's how I had it wired on the engine stand anyway so that matches okay tighten that up batteries in the trunk 